Hi and welcome to another tutorial from Blender Insight and this time I was thinking that we should do this pattern, the weed pattern that we have here and I will do it not the shortest way but the simplest, most simple way I think. So I will only do this line and then I just repeat that with offset uh, with rotation. But we start right away and the first thing to do is almost like uh, the same way you do with tile. So we start with the texture coordinate, so shift A, input, texture coordinate, and take the UV. And if I have that in render view, you can see we have it like this. The re end result I would like is to have this black point in the center and have this like uh, zero and then one on all the edges. And to get it to that result, I take first scale so we have a possibility to add more or less of these and I can put them to five and then I do fraction which then splits everything up so you can see now we get five times five squares then I will move the center to in middle part of the square so then I add a subtract and a multiply so shift D where I subtract with 0 0.5 I do this rather quickly because I've done this on almost all my tutorials. So this is a repetition for you. So shift D and multiply and then two. And now we have the center here and then I'm do an absolute. So shift D, multiply, uh, absolute. And now we have it like this. And now we can break this into uh, separate X, Y, Z. So I write separate here, X, Y, Z. And if I now take this in here, you can see that we get lines like this. And if I use Y, I get lines that's like this. So what I can do is that I can use one of these to filter away parts of that one. So let, let's say that we have this line here. Then I can filter away this part and this part and this part. So we can put in the other lines where it's black. And to filter it, we can do it like this, that we add a less than here. So less than. And then we put in a value here, like 0 0.2 or something like that. And that means that if the result that comes from here is less than 0 0.2, then we get a, a 1 out here. If it's bigger than 0 0.2, then we get 0 out here. And if we then multiply the result with the y, we take away those parts that are bigger than 0 0.2. So we add a multiply here. So shift D to copy this one, change it to a multiply. And then just put this in here. And you can see now that we are cutting off parts here. Now we just want to control the gap between these and that we can just add a subtract here. So if I take shift D, put this to subtract and take a clamp here so we are really sure that we are not below zero, then we can control the width here in a good way. And I think that is all we need as a starting point to create this. So all we do now is that we can take this and reuse it over and over again with some offset, uh, with some rotation and so on. So the thing we add before we do a node group out of this is rotation and, and the offset. And the offset we can do with an add. So I can take this, Shift D to duplicate and put in an add. And when I change this, you can see it moves sideways and it moves up and down. So it could be our offset. Then we need some way to rotate it, and that is a vector rotate. So shift A, go to vector, and here we have vector rotate. So we just put that in, but now we start directly from the beginning, and that means that we now have the black point in the corner. So we need to move the center to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 here. And then we have the center correct here, as you can see. If I should have it on 0 and 0, it will then move from the corner, as you can see down here. So this will be the center. But if I put it to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, we 
we get it here and then everything will be correct. So if I put it to 90 degrees, we get lines like this. So now we have that uh, and we have also the add and we can use all of this now to create the other lines. So we just take everything here and then control G to make a node group out of it. And then we take in what we need for change all the stuff here. So perhaps we should use the scale. We could also use the offset and to make it clearer, we do a combine X, Y, Z. Then we can just change the X and Y and we don't have to show the Z outside a group here. So shift A, converter, and then we select combine X, Y, Z, put that into the vector and take the X and the Y here. And now we go to group and change X by double click and write offset X and then offset Y. So we have that in. And then other things that we might need to change is okay, of course the rotation. So we have the angle here. And then it might be so that we would like to change the width of this and also the gap here. So we can take this as well. And the less than, that is the width of the weave. So we can keep it on 0 0.2 as default and just drag from the less than to here. And then we change the value to width. And the less, the subtract here, that is the gap. So here you get more gap and here you get less gap. So we can take that one and we just drag it here and then we change the last one to gap. So I think we have everything we need. So now we can just select group input and press tab and we are outside. It could be so if you would like it to be more advanced that you add even offset inside this node group and make it automatically every second row here as I have shown in other tutorials. But now I just do it the easy way, which means that it might be a little bit more repetition of nodes, but it's easier to understand, I think. So we have this node group now, and I think we add a new name to it. So we can call it uh, weave line or something. So weave line. So now we have that in. And we should add a scale to it. So shift A, uh, convert, uh, no, input value. I can put that to five. And then we need to understand what is X and offset Y. So X, that is sideways. And Y, that is up and down. And sideways, that is easy because zero is uh, where we have it. And 0 0.5 that moves it uh, one half step, so to say. But the offset Y, that is a little bit harder because the width here is depending on what we have as a scale here. So the offset Y will change all the time to So to get half of the, uh, the offset Y, to get half, then we take this and make this half. Uh, and take, let's say, like this. So if I have scale five, then the offset should be one tenth. So it should be the double of this, and then we have one divided by that. So what I would like to do is to take this and multiply by two. So multiply by two. And then I can take this and divide. So shift D and I take one and divide with the result here. So like, as I said, one fifth in this case, or one tenth in this case, because I take this and half of it, if I should have that as a little bit of offset, then it becomes 10 instead here, and one divided by it. So then we get one tenth to move everything. And we don't need to move this, but we can make the next one. So that if we have this now, then we should make this now. So we can just copy the weave here, Shift D, 
and take the UV to that one. And we should use the scale for the first one, and we should use the scale for the second one. And now we should move this in the X direction half. So this will be 0 0.5. And we should also combine these, and we can do that with the maximum. So Shift A, convert the math. We can in add a max and put that in here. So now you can see we have moved it 0 0.5. Then we also need to move it down 0 0.5. And then we add this uh, mat mathematical formula, the formula that I've done here in the y direction. So if I put that here, you now get an offset here. So now we have this one and we have this one. And the only thing we need to do now is to use these two times more, but in that direction. So we can take a copy of these two, Shift D, drag them down here and now you need to connect everything as above so we need the vector here we need the uv to the vector here we need to connect the scale on both we can take the scale here so scale to this one and scale to this one so now we have that in and then we need to rotate it 90 degrees so we before we do that, we can perhaps use the same offset on the last one. So the offset 0 0.5 and then the Y was using this one. Let's see if that works. So now we have everything exactly the same. So now we add the maximum on these two like this. So now we have like a duplicate here and then we take maximum of the maximum. So this one and this one in here. So you don't see any difference because right now we have not changed the angle here. So if I change this to 90 and change this to 90, you get it like this. So what we need to do is move the offset a bit. So if I put offset X to zero here and I take the offset and move the offset Y up here, now let's see, we take away these just to put everything in correct order from the beginning. So now we have offset 0 and offset 0. And that means now, now we, we are looking at this direction here. So we need to move one of these down. So let's see here if I move this. Yes, that works very nice. So now you can see that now we have rotated it 90 degrees so now it is this one that needs this uh, formula so put that here and that worked really fine fine so now we also need to make uh, this one and this should just move in this direction here so let's see if it's that one it was so here we have that so that means that we then put in the offset for this one here. So now we have everything in, in a good way. And now we can change everything. So if I change it to seven here, then we get it like this. And if I put it to like three, we get it like this. And we can now change gap and everything and width. But to change that, we should use the same gap and say width on everyone. So then I press Shift A, input, value, and we can call this uh, gap. So we know it's the gap. And put it to, uh, just let it be zero from the beginning. So if I take it like this, just drag it to every gap that you have. So then we can easily change all the gaps. So now we can change the gaps like this. Rather cool, easy to do. So perhaps something like that if we want to. And we do the same with the width because then we have that as well. So Shift D and we change this to width. So then we know that this is the width and we can put that to 0 0.1 or something. And we just drag that to every width here.
and then we have that as well so now we can change the width on this so they can grow like that make a really nice pattern out of it or we can make it smaller or more narrow like that so very versatile easy to play with to make it look good so this is our weave pattern and yes there is a lot of lines here but they are doing the same thing and when we have put everything together then it works so just go through it very quickly so the first one no offset no change here the next one you have this formula offset on the y and 0 0.5 in the x and then we turned everything around 90 degrees and then we use the formula on the offset x and nothing on offset y and last we used uh, no offset on x but we used the offset formula on y and angle on 90 degrees and those four was what we needed to have here the only thing that you have to think about is that since we have worked very much with halves then you cannot work with a value of four because then you move the offset half wrong so to say because that formula i did here will not work with even numbers so one will work and three will work and five five will work but those numbers between will move this a bit so it doesn't look so good so just remember that and then this uh, solution will work very nicely to uh, do whatever you want with so hopefully you learned something today as well and i just do as usual say uh, Bye for now and see you later.